Ever since the iPhone 15 Pro came out, I have been looking for a clean solution to record to an SSD, and I think I found it. Here's, here's the lowdown. I saw this video from this dude here, and he talked about putting uh, these magnets onto the SSD. Now, in theory, this is a good idea, but I don't wanna have a bunch of T5s running around with, you know, magnets on them. It's just kind of awkward, especially if I ever want to use them for something that's not my iPhone. He also brought up this cable here, which is a tiny little 20 gig speed with power delivery USB-C cable. So great cable, definitely going to use that. And I also definitely use the magnets that he mentioned in this video. Props to him. But I thought I would take an opportunity to try to improve upon the design. And so I had a friend of mine 3D print this thing here, which is basically T5 SSD sled. And the benefit of this setup is that not only do you not have to put magnets on your T5 drives or T7 drives, but you get MagSafe pass-through. So I've got my MagSafe tripod mount, boom. It attaches, really solid. It's not going anywhere. So I think that this is a pretty solid system because it allows you to still use MagSafe accessories. On top of that, if you wanted to use MagSafe accessories, another way you could possibly do that is to put these little magnets. These are like the magnets that are in the phone and you could put these on the back of your MagSafe accessory. So then you can put the SSD backpack on the back of your tripod mount or whatever mount you're using. So that's another way you could do this that would be really clean, which, which, which kind of brings me into the critiques because these magnets here, they are not the absolute strongest. They are strong, don't get me wrong, but they're just not as strong as like what Moment makes. So you could buy the 3M adhesive Moment MagSafe mount uh, that they make, but it is gonna be $40, $50. The setup comes with two of these and four of these for $20. So everything will be linked in the description if you wanna try this out. But honestly, I just think that this is such a clean solution. I mean, you're popping your SSD in, once it's full, you can pop it out and you're putting a new one in. Now, I, I will also note, I think it's important to know that the uh, fit is, on, is merely friction fit. So on top of that, the 3D printed file, um, we actually had to increase the size by 2%. This one is increased by 1% and it does fit, but it's a very, very tight fit, too tight, I think. So I would suggest increasing the size of the print by 2%. Another thing that you might wanna consider doing if you're shooting on iPhone is getting one of these adapters which will allow you to basically plug one thing into the USB-C and then have two data USB-Cs and one power USB-C out of your phone, which could be super helpful. You'll figure out a use case for it. But anyways, I have 30 seconds left on this card. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, I'm really excited about this setup. Let me know if there's anything you think I can improve on with this setup. Um, and until next time, let's get out there and make better films. Good grief, finished with 17, 15 seconds left. That is just unreal. This is probably the quickest YouTube video I've ever made, but I put this all together yesterday, so I had to get it out to you.